Hi, my name is Omid. I'm the software QA engineer at Wheelan Engineering. The problem with current flash patterns is, is that they're too harsh on your eyes at night. The chaos, the attention grabbing, it's good for getting people out of your way. It's just when you arrive at the scene is when you want to shift it into a calmer mode. Dynamic variable intensity patterns are much softer and easier on the eyes, essentially, so you never have it truly going off. You have it going from high points to low points. It's cool because it looks like you almost, like the vehicle went into a slow-mo all of a sudden, like everything's like and It's slowly building up and going down. And so your eyes have time to adjust to it. You don't find yourself going like this when you're driving by. You're not getting blinded by the chaos of the lights. Vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle sync comes into play when you have multiple cars at a scene. So we already said that one police car is really distracting. Multiply that by two or three, and the scene is just getting even more chaotic than it already is. Put a vehicle syncing together, and now it's not like a bunch of different flash patterns are going off at once, it's they're all doing the exact same thing. We want to calm it down, we want to get it under control, similar to dynamic variable intensity patterns, but not quite, because now we're saying all the cars are doing the, have the same consistent message if you want to say, like for example, if there's multiple police cars that are lined up and they're trying to direct traffic to the left, they're all having a traffic pattern playing, and so it's literally guiding you where they want you to go definitely reduces the chaos of that whole scene. We have a lot of things planned for CENTCOM Core and for Vehicle Vehicle Sync. It's, you know, once it's all out there, it's gonna be really cool. I'm excited for it.